What's up everyone, I'm back with one more video related to CCSC certification and this time is going to be Checkpoint Mobile Access VPN. I plan to cover the two main topics related to remote access on Checkpoint and that's going to be Mobile Access VPN that we're going to see now and Remote Access VPN. So the big difference between these two solutions is that with Mobile Access VPN you're accessing resources on your internal network using just the browser. As for Remote Access VPN, you have to install a client on your PC to access remotely the resources. This is also seen as SSL VPN uh, on Mobile Access VPN versus uh, IPsec VPN when you're using a client to access the VPN. So let's see how to configure mobile access VPN. So we have to enable this feature on the gateway first. So we get into gateway properties and we're going to enable mobile access. And it's going to pop up a window with different options we can select. So this time I'm just going to deselect mobile devices. And we're going to leave our web and desktop and laptops. We're going to click on next. And here we have the URL or the path uh, that the end users will use to reach the VPN. So this is my internal interface IP. So I want to change it to be uh, visible on my external interface. That's where normally you would deploy uh, the VPN access. So my external interface is 192.68.56.254. It means that the end user, they will have to use this URL to access the VPN. And we're going to use the self-signed certificate and we'll press next. Now here we get to select which applications we want to be enabled on the VPN portal. So we're going to select uh, the demo web application, but if we had, for instance, a shared folder, an application, or even a Outlook web app that we want uh, the users to reach via the VPN portal, that's where we enable. And we can add uh, additional applications later on, but for now, let's just select demo web application and we click on next. And I won't select active directory now because I don't have it enabled and we don't need it. So I'll click on next and it's going to create this default uh, user and we'll type the password. It's going to be user test and we press on next and so these are the next steps that we have to take to make the SSL VPN fully operational so we can copy the URL and we have to install uh, this policy on the gateway and we'll click on finish now before pressing ok I just want to confirm that everything it is operational and yes that's the url it's correct so we can press ok and now we have to install uh the policy so let's install the policy okay the policy was installed successfully so now let's try to open the url and that was uh https 192.68.56.254 SSL VPN. Okay, and the user was user test and the password. Okay, here we can see the applications that are available via the VPN portal. And we can see here work clock, that's the one we selected during the configuration process. We're going to click on it, we can see this is just uh, a demo page showing uh, different times on different countries. Okay, now let's see how to deploy remote access VPN. It uses the same blade as we enabled for mobile access VPN. 
But what we want to change is how the policies for remote access will be enforced. So let's go to Gateway Properties and on Mobile Access, we have to select Unified Access Policy so we can enforce the policies directly in the Access Policy rule. And we want to add a new rule above the existing one and we're going to name it Remote Access. Now the source is going to be uh, any and the destination is going to be our internal network. So I'm just going to drag and drop this object here. And the VPN is going to be a specific VPN community remote access. As for services and applications, we want to select HTTPS. So let's confirm that everything is okay. So we have to set the action to accept and we might want to log this traffic as well. So it looks like everything is in place. So now let's install this policy. Recall that the main difference between mobile access and remote access VPN is that in remote access VPN, we have to install a client to support the VPN tunnel. So let's go on the client PC and install the VPN client. On my PC client, I'm going to install the Checkpoint VPN client E8671. So we press yes. And this is going to be a normal installation like any software on Windows. We're going to select Checkpoint Mobile as this is the only feature we're going to use. We click on next. You're going to accept the agreement and it's going to install the software. Okay, now we click on finish and we're going to open the VPN options and we're going to add a new site. So we click on next and we're going to type the gateway external IP address. That's 192.68.56.254. And click on next. The first time you connect to this site is going to display a warning related to your self-signed certificate. Just accept and trust the certificate. Next, we're going to choose the preferred login as the standard default. We're going to select username and password as the authentication method. And we're going to click on finish. And we're going to select yes to connect to this site. Username is going to be the one that already exists and that's user test and we're going to type the password. So it already was authenticated and the connection was successful. So we can close this. Now let's open the browser and see if we can reach uh, the management server portal. So that should be HTTPS. 192.168.56.2 and we are able to reach uh, the management server portal although we are accessing remotely using the IPsec VPN so that's it guys mobile access VPN and remote access VPN on Gaia R81.10 I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.